Greetings, dear diaper wearers, to a new practical test. The diaper we are taking a closer look at today comes from a new manufacturer in the ABDL scene, Land of Genie. The company was only founded in 2022 and has since launched several diapers on the market. So it's high time for a practical test. The Land of Genie Dino comes in a classic pack, transparent with a print on the side, bucking the trend for colorful prints. I bought size M with a waist circumference of 70 to 100 centimeters. The package was produced in October 2022. As you can guess from the name, dinosaurs are the main motif of this diaper. It is printed all over the surface. Between the dinos in different colors you can also see the log lettering as an abbreviation for Land of Genie. The company seems to have observed the market in order to produce a diaper that combines everything that the vast majority of ABDL like. It is made of foil on the outside, which feels thicker and has never torn in practical tests. It is sealed with plastic adhesives that can be resealed. This also worked without any problems in my test. They are easy to attach and keep the diaper in place. I wore the diaper several times at night and the adhesives did not tear either. You can feel that it is a thick diaper, as many like it for different reasons, for safety, a high absorption volume or because you personally prefer the feel of it. It is not as rigid as you would expect from crinkles, but adapts well to the body without creasing or kneading, which is what you want. Accordingly, it is easy to remove from the pack because it is not pressed in too tightly. A look at the scales confirms my impression, with an empty weight of 229 grams it is definitely no longer one of the thinner ones. That's all good, but not a unique selling point. There are now several diapers on the market that would also meet these criteria. There is one thing where Land of Genie takes a different approach to many others, the outer material. Of course they use foil, that's clear. In my survey, well over 80% of you said that you would much rather wear foil diapers than the cotton alternative. The foil from Land of Genie is strikingly different, it is rather matte and reminds me a little of the feel of a rain jacket on the outside, which is supposed to be water repellent. I find it difficult to rate this as good or bad. At first it was unusual because many diapers have a softer film and this type is rather rare. I only remember the kiddo sailor, which had a similarly eye-catching outer film. After wearing a few diapers, I didn't perceive it as worse, just different. You can get used to it, unlike cotton, which I still find unpleasant despite a second attempt with the whole pack. There is nothing to criticize about the quality of the land of Genie Dino foil, it is sufficiently thick and stable. Let's take a look at the absorption performance. As with every diaper, I wore it until it started to leak. The Land of Genie lasted almost exactly until 2 kilos, exactly the highest weight in the test was 2008 grams. This is slightly above average and is a solid result with which it doesn't need to hide. What I find even more interesting is the suction power compared to the price. A pack of 10 diapers costs €28.90, or €2.89 each. Purely in terms of absorbency, this is no bargain. There are other diapers that last longer and even cost less. My favorite example is the Little Rascals V2, it only costs €2.69 Euro each and even lasted longer in the practical test, so more absorbency for less money. In terms of the price-performance ratio, the Rascals comes out on top. However, the Little Rascals has different visual motifs and a softer foil on the outside. These may be subjective things that some people don't like. Anyone who has looked at my other practical tests will probably have already noticed for themselves. There is no such thing as the perfect diaper. You always have to weigh up what is important to you. For example, if you want certain motifs, you usually pay a little more for them. If you want the diaper to be as inexpensive as possible, you have less choice and may have to make compromises elsewhere, such as with the adhesive. There are fewer compromises with the Land of Genie. It has many features that are important to ABDL without standing out too much from the crowd. The dinosaurs could perhaps be seen as rather unusual in the choice of motif for the print. What stands out is their foil, which has a different feel to most other diapers. The best way to find out whether you like it is to try it out for yourself. If you like foil, you will certainly find it much easier to get used to than cotton, which has a completely different feel. My conclusion about Land of Genie is therefore positive. They are trying something relatively new with foil. I will try out the other Land of Genie diapers. 
it is already becoming apparent that some of them are probably very similar or even the same diaper from a technical point of view, differing only in their prints. We know this from crinkles, for example. The other diapers will be the subject of separate videos in which I will take a closer look and also put them to the practical test to find out whether there are any significant differences. Until then, feel free to watch my other videos, where you will find tests of other diapers. If you didn't like Land of Genie, there's sure to be an alternative for you. In addition to the tests, I also make videos on tips and tricks for anyone who wears or wants to wear diapers. Feel free to write in the comments how you liked the diaper, whether you would like to try it out or perhaps have already worn it. Stay dry, until the next diaper video.